Hi, welcome again. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to read Ponda stack mentation. In order to work with the Pandas, first we need to import it into our working area using the import statement. Let us import it. Pandas as pt. That is the alias for Pandas. After importing, see the latest version of Pandas installed in our system with the Anaconda distribution. You can use underscore underscore version underscore underscore in front of Pandas object. You can also use single question mark to see. Or to get a simple detail like summary on Pandas or any other Pandas ecosystem. This will give you the simple detail. You can also use double question mark to get more detail on specific topic. We can also use command. To get simple detail as like a single question mark, but it will also give you some more detail for the specific topic. See the doc string and signature of any object in Pandas. We can use the combination of shift and tab. Here, for example, to see the signature of Pandas series, p dot series, insert the parentheses, press shift and holding shift, press tab two times. I'm pressing shift. I am holding it, pressing tab two times and release the shift. Now you can see the signature and dog string. See the current duct string in pager, we need to shift the tab four times. Shift and then press the tab four times. You can keep this information in a separate window. Similarly, for data frame. I recommend you to keep the information in a separate window while you practice the Pandas objects. As we have seen, you can use single question mark in front of Pandas ecosystem get simple detail that is the signature and tag string. Here I am using single question mark in front of the Pandas series to get signature and the tag string. Similar to like pressing the shift key and holding it and pressing the tab four times. That is somewhat. Uh, Uncommon method to see the dark screen and signature. So it is better to use the single question mark if you want to keep the signature and dark screen information in an external window for the further use. Similarly, you can use the double question mark in front of the Pandas ecosystem to get the more detail. 
you can check it by yourself. Now, to read the tabular data, you can use either read underscore CSV or read underscore table. We will discuss about these read underscore CSV and read underscore table in more detail for the section that is data handling. Here I am using the read underscore CSV to read the tabular data with the value separated by the comma. Say for example the Titanix data present in dataset directory. Here is the dataset directory and inside that Titanic dataset is present. Reading this Titanic dataset, the comma separated values file using the read underscore CSV. The read underscore CSV will display the tabular data in Wanda's data frame format in first five rows and first five rows. The head method, on the other hand, will display the first five rows by default. n is equal to 5. Return the first 10 rows by default n is equal to 5. But we can change n is equal to 5 to any other positive integer number to read the number of rows as per our requirement. Let us use n is equal to 10 and see how it displays the data. So we got the first 10 observed rows. Similarly, to see the rows from the last row, that is from the bottom, we can use tile method. Tile method also uses n is equal to 5. By default, but we can change it to any other number. For example, n is equal to 10. To see the column names and the number of columns, we can use columns attribute in front of the data frame object. Here we have survival class sex age c Fair, embargo, dead. These are the column names used in the Titanic data set. And to see the row index or simply the index, we can use index attribute. Row index starts from 0 and ends at 891 instead of 1. Because it has an integer row index by default. In order to get the information about the series or data frame, recording the number of series, columns, types of data values present, and the number of non null values, we can use info method on Pandas objects. So here I am using the info method on the Titanic dataset. But the range index 891 entries, that means the total number of rows 0 to 890. And these are the non null values in each column which are valued class, sex, etc. And the type of the columns. The survival is of integer and second of object that is the string and age is of floating point type and other columns like integer, load, in object type, etc. It also displays the memory is the Titanic data set uses 60 to 58 plus 
skip since it is a smaller size file and the types of present are float, integer and object. Float, columns, integer type, columns and object type, the column. 4 plus 3, 7, 2, 9. There are total 9 columns. To get a statistical details about the Pandas object, you can use describe method along with the info method. The describe method will give you the statistical detail. That is the minimum, the standard deviation, mean value and the count. And 25% of the maximum, 50% of the maximum, 75% then maximum value. To see the number of rows and columns, that is the shape of the Pandas object, you can use the shape attribute. So it displays the number of rows and columns. Here in the Titan dataset, we have 891 rows and 9 columns. 891 rows, that means starting from 0 to 890. The index starts from 0 in You can see here the starting range of the index is 0 and the stop is 891. That means between 890. You can see the range index 0 to 890 exactly. Now, whether it is a series or a data frame. Or whether it is an integer or a string object, we can use type method. So it tells it is of data frame belongs to the pandas. In order to extract a single column as a series from the data frame object, we can use indexing method using the square bracket. Inside the square bracket, we can type column we can use number or column name for the string name we must use the single code to make sure that it is a name or string object the type of this column. The type says that it is a series now because each individual column in a data frame is a series actually. This is how you can read the documentation of pandas using different methods and attributes. Let us meet in the next tutorial with pandas series.